All right, let's look at configuring Cisco routers for dynamic network address translation or dynamic NAT. Dynamic NAT is where you have a group of inside IP addresses that you want to map into a set, a smaller set of external IP addresses. So the reason you do this is some services require you to have a a static IP address, but you don't want to assign static IP addresses to every single internal IP address. You just want to have a pool that they can get temporarily. For example, um, the FTP protocol used to be set up so that you would connect um, outward on port 21 of the server, and when you want to download files, it would send back a connection to your port 20. And so it would know what IP address you had, it would go back to your port 20, and it would send data through port 20. This only worked if your source IP address, when you initiate the communication, and the IP address that it sends back to are the same IP address, which required something like a dynamic NAT. And then when your connection was all over, you would drop the connections and you'd be fine. So it's not really useful for a lot of things because if you run out of available IP addresses, then you can no longer, well, no one can get out except for the ones who have the IP addresses. So let's go ahead and show you how to do that. So I have this router. I'm going to go into privilege mode and I'm going to look at my running configuration to see which IP addresses are configured already. I have up here this 172.16.01 is going to be my external IP address. Um, in addition to this one, I'm going to have the number 9 through, well, maybe 2 through two through 10. 2 through 10 will be my external pool that I'm going to be giving out. And then you have this internal IP address, 192.168.0.1. So we are going to use that internal the entire network as the internal set of IP addresses going outward. So first I need to label the interfaces. Fast Ethernet 00 is on the outside and Fast Ethernet 01 is on the inside. So let's go and mark those up. So in FA0 slash 0 and it's IP NAT outside. So I mark that on the outside. And then I want to mark the inside one. So you know, FA0 slash 1, IP NAT inside. Okay, now the interfaces are marked. The next thing to do is create an access list for the machines that are allowed to go out on NAT. And then I need to create a pool for the addresses that are going to be given out when NAT happens. All right. So the access list. Access list, and we want to do a standard access list, and we want to do permit. Everything else that's not permitted is going to be denied. And this is the 192.168.0.0 with a mask of, well, a wildcard of 0.0.0.255. And that's it. We create our access list. Our access list is done. Next, we want to create our pool. IP NAT pool, pool. And we want to name our pool. We will call this our out pool. And then we need to decide our start IP address, which I said was 172.16.0.2 through 10, right? So the end IP address is 172.16.0.10. Now, as it goes out, um, I had this as a slash 24. So IP addresses going out on this, this pool are going to be given a, well, mask of 24. So prefix length, prefix length of 24. So that's it. We create a pool. We have our 
access list. Now we just need to combine them together. So IP not. And we want to do inside source. The source is going to be a list. And it's going to be list number 10. Now we are going to, instead of specifying an interface, we're going to specify the pool of external addresses. And this pool is going to be our out pool. And that's it. Now we have static, not static, we have a dynamic NAT configured. So let's go and show our running config. You can see the interfaces are marked properly as outside and inside. We can see these three lines right here. We have our pool generator right here. Oops. We have our inside uh, our mapping. And we have the access list. So the access list generates what is being allowed. The pool generates what is being given out. And then we have our conversion thing right there, where IP net inside source list 10 pool out pool will make it all work. All right, and that is how you configure dynamic 